Hey guys, I just purchased this solar crank radio off of Amazon and I thought I'd just do a quick review on it. Um, I have taken it out of the box, I thought I'd just put it in so you guys get the experience of how it is um, taking it out of the box and unboxing it. So it comes uh, just in that standard Amazon box and then also this small one here. You pull it out, you can see it's got a bit, um, bit of bubble wrap on it just for protection with mail and then it's also got a micro USB um, cable as well which comes with it which is quite cool. A little bit of instructions as well, you guys can look at that if you end up getting it. But um, yeah, here's the device here. It's uh, it's really sturdy. It's made out of like solid um, hard plastic or something that feels like it could take an impact and definitely take um, some... It's made out of um, yeah, like really solid plastic and things like that. So it, it, it definitely feels like it could take a fall or take a hit and things like that. So if you have a look on here as well, it's actually got the solar panels on the top there. So it says that you need to leave it outside for about an hour for it to um, completely charge, which is which is great, obviously. So if you're out camping or on the boat or anything, um, any time that you wouldn't have access to some um, standard electricity, that, that will obviously come in handy. But on the top of it, there, there is the option in here to actually charge it through the micro USB cable that came with it and on top of that it's got a standard USB um, size there as well so you can charge your phone or charge anything you need for an emergency backup probably will be your phone at the time but it's so it's pretty much just a portable battery that you can charge with solar as well which is great and um, on the top here as well it's got the button here so that's just for the torch to turn the uh, torch to turn on mine is flat actually because I haven't charged it since I got it today all I did was actually hand crank it which is what um, this part here is as well so it's got the hand crank which is fairly simple to hand crank too it makes a little bit of noise as you can hear you can hear that but it's really easy and there's not mu that much um the tension when you are hand cranking it as well but so if we let's check the light again it's look at that you can see the difference already in brightness it's got three brightness settings as well so like i think one is like a reading mode or something like that as well but yeah on the front here which is why i got it primarily it's got the weather station am and fm so the for the emergency weather stations and things like that and it's surprisingly a really loud radio so like let's turn it on here for a second um, here we can just listen to the fuzziness, but let's try and quickly find a station where I live is 102.1 or something. There we go, we've found a radio station straight away. And um, it's a little bit finicky, like you have to be really slow when you're doing it. I've kind of used it today, so I got used to it. But like, listen to this, this is, oh, this is, this is, this is loud. I was talking to my wife when I got it and um, she was like, oh, I'll use that when I'm out in the garden. Gardening, it's loud enough. So. Yeah, and then the same with the AM and the FM stations as well, obviously. To turn it on and off, you just do rotate that volume button. But um, in hand size comparison, that's the size of my hand. I've got a standard size hand, I guess. And um, it fits perfectly in there as well. It comes with a little cable to attach it, attach it to your bag and things like that as well. But um, I definitely can see myself using this and this is going to be coming in handy. I'll probably purchase a few more, to be honest, just to give out to friends and family to have in the back of the car or in the swag or in the boat or and things like that. I, I'm actually really surprised on the quality and the sturdiness of this. So, um, yeah, good luck, guys.